Can you hear me? Can you, can you hear me? No? Oh, can you? Is it loud enough? Is it loud enough? I may just have to use the mic. Well, for him. Can you hear it on your phone? This is our first time doing this. Normally we have, but we're just playing around a little bit. Yeah, we're live. I know we're live. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, the mic's on. But I think I might have to use just the microphone. A lot of static. All right. Is that better? Ha ha ha. Okay. Too good. You can hear me. <laughs> you really want to hear tonight's message, so. Can you hear it? Huge delay. Well, either way, hear me or not, it's recorded, so. All right, uh, good evening. Uh, if you would stand and turn in your hymn books to hymn number 23, we're going to be singing a cappella tonight. Hymn number 23. Dana said he can fix most glitches, so, but those who are watching, that's good, that's hymn number 23, yep, hold on, good, all right, here we go, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God, I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood, Join heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. Amen. Now turn with me over to 238. 238. He included me. Ha <laughs> ha. I learned this one a few months ago, relearned it, because I got up here and I didn't, couldn't remember it, so <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember that. <laughs> oh, don't distract me. <laughs> We're going to do verses 1, 2, and 4, okay? All right, here we go. I'm so happy in Christ today that I go singing along my way. Yes, I'm so happy to know and say Jesus included me too. Jesus included me. Yes, he included me when the Lord said whosoever he included me. Jesus included me. Yes, he included me when the Lord said, Whosoever he included me. Verse 2. Gladly I read, Whosoever may come to the fountain of life today. But when I read it, I always say, Jesus included me too. Jesus included me. Yes, he included me. When the Lord said, Whosoever he included me, Jesus included me, yes, he included me. When the Lord said, Whosoever he included me, verse 4, freely come drink words to the soul to thrill, oh, with that joy that my heart do fill. For when he said, Whosoever will, Jesus included me too. Jesus included me. Yes, he included me. When the Lord said, Whosoever, he included me. 
Jesus included me, yes, he included me. When the Lord said, whosoever, he included me. Amen. Good singing. Uh, well, I'd like to welcome you all here today. <sighs> Just a little. Um, it's good to see you all here. Good to have family. So if you bow your heads, we'll pray. Father God, we uh, come to you tonight to pray and to uh, hear your message. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're in a rough kind of bind tonight, feeling a little uh, selfish. A little hurt, a little lonely. But you know, uh, <clears throat> we're all gathered here in your name, God. And if you would just fill this place, we love you so much. And uh, just open up the hearts and... Uh, <clears throat> Give me the strength to get through it and uh, appreciate it. In your precious name, amen. Oh, sorry about that. New step. So, uh,. Sorry. Yeah, we got it. Um, so, at this time, now we have uh, two requests. 56? <laughs> yes. 185. Anybody else have a request? 185. What was it? Rock of Ages. Uh, We'll do verses uh, 1, 2, and 4. Uh, 185. Everybody there? All right, here we go. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riven side which flowed be of sin the double cure save me from its guilt and power verse 2 not the labors of my hands can fulfill thy laws demands could my zeal no rest but no could my tears forever flow all for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. Verse 4. While I draw a fleeting breath. When my eyes shall close. <clears throat> two worlds unknown. See thee on thy judgment throne. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Amen. Uh, that's one request. Do we have another? Yes. 271. Uh, 271. In the garden. We'll do all three verses of this one. On now, <laughs> all right, all three verses. Y'all ready? Here we go. I come to the garden alone, 
While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The Son of God discloses And He walks with me and He talks with me And He tells me I am His own Can't sing high. And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever known. Verse 2. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Verse 3, I'd stay in the garden with him, though the night around me is falling. But he bids me go through the voice of woe. His voice to me is calling. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Amen. Good singing, good singing. Uh, now, do we have any praises tonight? I know we got praises tonight. I know we got praises. Uh, open them up. Open them up. They're going to be open, yes. It was blessing. Anybody else? Do you have more? <laughs> That's okay. Anybody else? Yes. Amen. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, without a doubt. Yes, Mom. Yes, amen. No. Yes, Chuck. right. Yeah. Yes, Bill. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. He was a man led by God to the end. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah. Yep. Anybody else? Well, I always have lots to praise about. Even in uh, times like these, uh, I got to thank all of you all. Uh, when uh, when I knew I was gonna have to do the message, uh, got a lot of offers to help, and uh, but. I had a heavy feeling I had to do it myself tonight. So, that was it. Uh, lots of praises. Bad pastor, my parents, family, church family. Got me back on a road where I was supposed to be. And that was God working through Pastor Storm with my parents and kids, family, church, everybody. So, God is good. Anyways, all the time. So, Oh, yeah. We'll get through it somehow. <laughs> so, uh, announcements are not up here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nope. That's right. Yeah, what we need to understand here. Uh, no announcement. Okay. Huh? Uh, big announcements is a lot of changes here. Um, Sunday school, 9 o'clock uh, this Sunday. Uh, church will be 10 o'clock, evening service at 5. Uh, tonight was supposed to be question and answers, but it's going to be a message. Huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. Oh, man. I made Nancy wait for her question. 
And he said, ha ha. Um, figure it out now. But, uh, 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 and then Monday morning, 10 o'clock, right here, will be uh, services for pastor. Uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. So uh, if you guys uh, want to help or something, uh, any time, uh, Sunday evening or after service or uh, Monday morning, uh, Pastor Hughes will be uh, leading the service. And I think he's going to, he's sending somebody this weekend to fill the pulpit. So, uh, um, old fashioned Sunday is called off. But if you're like me and like to dress up old style anyway, go ahead. I'll be here. Uh, I wearing my old black powder pistol and vest and that. So, uh, uh, is there a tug this Friday? No, was it this Friday? All right, we have tug this Friday. Um, trap and skeet on Saturday. Uh, we are carrying on. You all are going to hear that in just a little bit, a little more in depth. Um, huh? Oh, hi, Dana. We love you. Um, and uh, I know there's... We're going to keep on with men's fellowship. Um, I'd like to keep on with men's fellowship. Our youth ministries are staying on. Uh-oh. I had to leave that on just to hear. Nope. Okay. I powered off now. I had to leave that on earlier. Ah, I forgot to turn it off. But anyway. Um. Men's fellowships, uh, youth ministries, everything's going to continue. Um, I don't have the announcement sheet in front of me. Uh, Sunday, we'll... Uh, huh? Oh, okay, so... <laughs> thank you, Dana. The ninth, uh, Tug, the 10th, Trapper Skeet, 11th, is... Uh, like I say, you dress up if you want. I'm going to, I always, I try to... I like that look anyway. So, uh, 17th will be Men's Fellowship. Uh, 23rd, Teens Under God's Guidance. 24th, Trap and Skeet. Uh, 25th will be Noisy Bucket. And the third quarter, Business Meeting. Uh, that'll be a big meeting this time. 29th, School Harvest Party. And then on into November. The third is Election Day. Fourth, we'll see. Seventh. Uh, men's prayer breakfast. Uh, we'd like to keep it as close to that as we can, but there will be changes. Uh, we'll be, I know Dana will post up on the website uh, or best practice, just show up <laughs> and hear all the changes. And that's, that's our announcements for right now. So if you would stand and turn with me to our course of the month, hymn number 35. And then we will uh, say hi and take an offering. We'll only sing it one time, though. Mm. You got her, Chuck? All right. Here we go. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Say hi, everybody. Me gates, me gates ain't coming out. All right. Uh, Y'all may be seated. Hmm? Uh, you want to say prayer, Robbie?
All right. Now, if y'all would, uh, everybody got a prayer sheet? Anybody got a prayer sheet? Anybody need a prayer sheet? These glasses are real nice to read right here, but they're not good for looking out. All right. Well, we're going to jump on into this prayer sheet. Uh, please bow your heads. Father God, we acknowledge you as creator, and we come to you tonight in your name under this roof, Lord. And we, uh, we have a prayer sheet, and we want to bring all this stuff up to you, Lord. Uh, Our uh, faith promise missions, Lord, we want to be able to keep continuing that. Um, church finances, we pray for those, Lord, that you keep it coming in for your glory. And the food bank, Father, I'll just bless that food bank. And we want to pray for our government leaders to make good, godly decisions. For guidance, we have quite a few here, Lord. I'm just going to lift up their names for guidance for you. The O'Briens, Jimmy Montoya, Deborah Garcia, Kaylee Garcia, Ricky Serna, Christian Gooden, Daniel uh, Quintella Jr., Roe, Dolly, Sally, Renee, and uh, we just want to lift them up to you, God, for, for guidance. Please touch their life and show them the right way to go. Uh, we pray for Kathy for her pregnancy. Uh, we pray for Chuck Thomas for wisdom and knowledge of the Bible. I want to pray that uh, you take this coronavirus out of here and just get rid of it. Uh, we pray for Jacob Burke in the Army. Uh, keep him safe. Uh, we want to pray for the churches worldwide, Lord. There's a lot of persecution still going on with the churches, and, and we just... Thank you for what you've done for this church, God, and kept us out of it. And we just ask that you do the same for others. Uh, we want to pray for the Storm family for bereavement. Uh, and that Denise and Dion and their husbands and kids get here safely, Lord. And I also want to pray for uh, this church for bereavement of pastor. Help us through it. I know... Uh, we're going to see him someday. And uh, we just thank you for that promise, God. I want to raise up our, our list of praises here is uh, your answer to prayer. Uh, your faithfulness of your people. Life, lives that you have changed. And your marvelous healing. We praise you for the ones that you saved this week and, and this last month. Uh, God, we thank you that Dana's doing great and that Victor got a negative on his COVID test. The only test he flunked that he ever got good credit for. Uh, uh, we, we lift up the missionaries, God, we, the Dean family in Mongolia, Nevada family is with the military in Japan, Gary and Nancy Storm for their global camp ministries. Tim Yearling, he's in Juarez, Mexico. John McDaniels in the Navajo Nations. Jim and Myrna Wright, Mission Relief. The Sanders family in China. And the Red Cliffs in Mexico, God. And, uh, you know, God, I, I didn't ask before, but I'm, I'm sure if I did, there'd be a whole lot of unspokens tonight. So I want to raise them up to you, God. I've got a couple, and I'm sure a lot of others do. I raise them up to you, God. For illnesses, uh, we have Charles Thomas, dad, with diabetes, COPD, and his knee. We have Chuck Thomas with his knee and his wrist and uh, his ankle. I think it's doing better, but we still pray for that. Uh, we have a lot of cancers on here, God, that we want to lift up to you. 
We have Ryan and Carl and Jasmine, Gail Schumann, Patricia Connor, Joni, uh, Art's brother, Mary, Tom, Beth Ann, Luis Lytle. Uh, that's all I see for the cancers, God. Uh, I know you can heal them. If it's your will, Father, please heal those. Uh, we have Scarlett Thibodeau with health problem. Nick's wife is her back. Uh, David Moore in a coma. Shane Eldridge for illness. GBS is making progress. Uh, Christina's high blood pressure and migraines. Lauren Allen with ABS. Tuck Allen with his back and hip pain. Cynthia Allen with her neuropathy. Nick for his uh, knee surgery recovery. We ask that you help it out. Uh, Papa Lloyd for mercy. And Mrs. Storm's back. Uh, Rose knee, hands and back. And Doris Mann is in ICU, God. We, we lift all these illnesses up to you knowing you're the great physician. And that you can heal everything. And we ask that you would touch these people. Um, Father, now we're going to lift up our salvation list. Uh, people that we want to see saved, and, uh, which is everybody. Uh, Father, we lift up the food bank workers uh, and the people who come to the food bank. All of our unsaved relatives, Father. Those ones usually hit a little bit closer to home or a little harder sometimes. Give us the strength to uh, go after it with your kind heart to reach out to all our unsaved relatives. Father, I want to ask for Ray Thomas' salvation, and Jasmine, and Deborah Dalton, Ricky Cerna, Josh Myers, Joshua, James, Nicole, Cassidy, Delena, Bobby and Edith, and Danny. And Father, we want to raise up the military too. Uh, all of our men and women who serve in the armed forces, who serve in the armed forces, uh, who are overseas or at home, uh, whether they are fighting or have come back, God, we want to lift them up, keep them safe. We know that the, the suicide rate of soldiers is just staggering. It's just overwhelming. Uh, God, we just ask that you put your hand on them and lead them all to you. Uh, Father, we just uh, we thank you so much for everything. I, I know the, the list is is long, but you have your hand on this whole world. And like I said, we do acknowledge you as the creator and you are in control of all. So Father God, please be with us and keep us all safe. Uh, please uh, open up our hearts to the message and, and let us take it home with us. And when I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, now it's time for the message. So I wrote a little. I wrote a little. I wrote a little. Not really to do with the message, but it it is. It's something that I wrote down because I wanted to <clears throat> talk to you all about it. Um. So before I get into the scripture here, I, I'd just like to pray again. Uh, Father God, as I asked before, please open our hearts and our minds to this message and help us to take it and use it to light up the world for you. And we ask this in your precious name. Amen. Uh, before I really read into the scripture, uh, last night I, I was looking for scripture that would back up the messages, the ideas of messages I had in my head. I was looking. I went through many, many books. I spent a lot of time. Um, the human side of me wanted to do that. I had a lot of things, you know, emotional day, and I had a lot I wanted to say. God said it wasn't the right time. Everything I found didn't read quite right, didn't look right. And then uh, God told me to just stop. So I stopped and I prayed again. And I just felt the need to study for myself. And this is actually what he gave me, is a message for me. 
if it's for you guys, take it. Run with it. But this message is for me, and I hope that I believe it's for everybody. Um, so I did. I prayed again, and I just started reading in scriptures, and he led me uh, to this Second uh, Timothy chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 1 through 9. And the message I, I is to carry on. Um, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 9. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant. In season, out of season. Repute, reprove, rebuke, exhort. With all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. And here's verse 9. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. And uh, that one really hit me. Uh, God was giving me that message all day long, and I didn't know it until I calmed down and just studied the Bible. Um, it begins with, I charge thee. Uh, Paul was actually writing to Timothy. This is a second letter to Timothy. Um, about carrying on in his absence. Um, and we as the church kind of find ourselves in that very predicament right now. And we are charged by God to carry on. And I only have about 15 points. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, my first point is going to be, what are we charged to do? And that you'll find in verse... Well, verse 2 is to preach the word and be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, with all long suffering and doctrine. Um, and most, most of that part came to me today, but um, I wanted to explain what, what those words are, reprove, reprove, rebuke, and exhort. So to reprove is to reprimand or censor. Um, so we have to preach the word, but we have to we have to censor or rep, we have to we have to speak the right word. We have to preach the correct word. So we have to reprove and rebuke um, false teachings, which is uh, to criticize um, and exhort is strongly encourage. So the first two are to really be hard and figure out, you know, make sure we're preaching the right stuff. And not getting caught up in traps. But the other one, exhort. The last one is to strongly encourage. We have to encourage each other to preach the word, the true word, the gospel. And that was a big one for me. So that's that's what we're charged to do is to preach the word. We're not all preachers, but we are you know, to preach the, the, the gospel of peace. Um... Now my second point, that was a that was a quick point. But uh, my second point is uh, why are we charged, or or this is why we are charged, and you find that in verse three. Let me read that. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they keep to themselves teachers having itching ears. Uh, the time is now. It's today. It's not all. Um, you, you saw my notes. Anyways, uh, the time is now. Today, 
Um, not all, but quite a lot of people not today all, don't want to listen to sound. Don't want to listen. We do find it more and more and more. Preachers are tickling ears. They're getting big congregations. They want the money. They want this and that power. This church, I love it. It's small, but we do so much of God's work. And we preach doctrine right out of this Bible. Right out of the King James Version Bible. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they want to work. They want to go home. They don't want to be bothered by preachers who don't tell them, you know, thank you just for showing up. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. Um, they will stop coming around and make excuse after excuse for why they don't go to church. And that we find in verse 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. They'll make excuses. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll try to, they'll use their imaginations and conspiracy theories to justify themselves for why they're not serving God or why they're not coming into church. Uh, I know you've all heard a few of these excuses, you know, like, uh, they just want to judge me. I don't go to that church. They just judge me. They just judge me. They're critical. Or the pastor's picking on me. Or the pastor's picking on me. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. <laughs> he singles me out. He singles me out. You know, they look down at me. They look down at me. They say I'm dirty. I stink. You know, there, there's a lot of a lot of excuses that people people will use just because they're afraid to come here and, and accept Jesus and turn their life over to God instead of trying to control their own life and just show up to listen. Ah, oh, check that. After that, they just start saying, ah, oh, why do I even go and check the box? I'm not getting it. You know, I'm sure you all have heard your own excuses from other people. And maybe you use some yourselves. I've used some myself. I spent a lot of years going to church when I wanted not going to church when I wanted. You know, I found other things to do. Uh, horses. Mechanic. Uh, alcohol. You know, uh, it gets worse and worse and just keeps going on and on. And then God chasing me. And I stopped. Found out the important thing was to be here. So anyway, that was, that was my second point. Uh, that's why we're charged to carry on. Because we don't want to backslide. We don't want to start going backwards off the path. You know, you've heard all the preachings. So get up here and stay on this path. Don't come off. You know, I'm not going to move around a lot tonight. Cause I might. My third point is, is the meat of the message or the center of the message. Some people, when they eat a hamburger, they don't Some use buns and lettuce, but we do. It's the center. It's the it's the it's the satisfying part. It's the, the purpose of having something. It's the middle. Is and that point is to carry on. That is our point to carry on. We get hit with things in life that can drag us down, and disappoint us. I think I might be getting ahead of myself. Um. We'll read um, verse five. That's in verse five. Verse five. That's in verse five. But watch thou in all things. But watch thou endure in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist and make an full evangelist. proof of and thy make ministry. Full proof of thy ministry. That tells, tells me I need to carry on. Uh, we have to, and I had a good illustration. We have to. If I had the mic, I was going to do a little walk. We have to go tell it on the mountain. We have to go tell it on the mountain. Down in the hills and through down the woods. Down in the hills and through the woods. Uh, down on the mountain, down the hills, and everywhere the hills, we go. And everywhere tell others we go. about the saving grace tell of Jesus. I don't know if y'all know that song. Go tell it on the mountain. Down, down, down. And 
and everywhere go, tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. And that is why we carry on. Um, now, verse 5 also now, gives, uh, verse five also gives uh, a little bit more detail. Uh, a little bit it says, more detail. We're going to receive affliction. Uh, for the, we will be persecuted. We'll be looked at different. We'll be mocked, scoffed. We're going to get the whole... It, some will be good. Some will be bad. We will have affliction. Without a doubt. And we are supposed to endure it. We are supposed to endure it. Even when we get downhearted. Or discouraged. Or... Something happens or in your life that just seems to take the wind out of you. The loss of a loved one um, comes to mind. Um, but, you know, uh, anything we do, any little ministry or part of the ministry, we we have, uh, whether it just be coming here and encouraging you, praying at home, whatever we do, even if we get disheartened, discouraged, and uh, the wind knocked out of us, when it's the wind's hard, after the cross. But he did it before the cross. And that's a big point for me to carry on. Jesus could have stopped it at any time. But he made it all the way to Calvary. Hung on the cross. And died there. They didn't even have to break his legs. He died there. And he did it by choice for our sins. So that we could be saved. And he carried on after he was resurrected, he came back. He talked to the disciples. He told them, go and preach the gospel. And the disciples gathered people and said, all right, we're going to teach you. Now you got to go. Build churches. Preach the gospel. And so on and so on. And we're still doing it over 2,000 years later. And that's because it's real. And that's what we're carrying on. We have to carry on. We have to find joy in our affliction and our pain, in our affliction, and we do and have to pain, carry on. And we do have to carry on. And that was why I, and that, that heavy spirit I, after reading all this, and that it really hit me, that I had to run this part all the way through. Even if it's my last time up here, I had to run it through for Jesus. But it might be my last time up here. I don't know, but it's not my it last time my up last there. Time up here. I'm going to carry on. Jesus carried on all the way in heaven. And now he's got pastor who carried on. And I'm sure I know I was going to save this for Monday. I can almost practically guarantee it. Before they came in, when they came in at that last minute, I bet he said, hold on. I got one question. Got one question for you. Got one question. If for you me. were to die today, where would if you, you were to die today? Where would you go? Where would you go? And see, that's the our faith is the only see, thing that our faith is the only thing that our faith, our belief in our Jesus faith, Christ is the only thing that can save us. It's not works. Once we're saved, we have the Once faith. We're saved, our works count. We have the faith, our works count. and jewels and the stuff up there. Jewels. But if you don't have that faith in you tonight, but if you don't have that faith in you. We'll get it. We'll you get can it. change it. You can do it tonight. Can it. Can it tonight. Just like this message just got changed. Like this message just got changed. That's no joke. This message just got that's changed. Just got and that's where God leads us. And that's where God leads us. Is to carry on. Is to Let's carry on. on. Why should we carry on? That's Why in verses carry six on? through eight. That's in verses six through eight. Read them with me. For I am now ready to Read be them offered. With me. For I am and now the time ready of my to be departure offered. is at hand. And the time of my I have fought a good hand. fight. I have finished I have my course. I, I have, have kept my the course. faith. 
Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord is, which the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous Judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, and not but to all them also that love His All of them also that love His You can pull so much out of this one verse. You can pull so much I out of this one verse. I can see it. I'm not going to be. Probably going to be really. I'm not gonna be, I don't know if phone's not on. Can't see. Anyways, why should we carry on? Anyway, why this should we carry on? This has two parts. First of all, time is shorter than we think. Time is shorter than we think. We don't get an eternity we don't on get this earth. An eternity on this. As he says, I am now ready to be offered. Says, I am now ready to be offered. My departure is at hand. We only get. We only get. People get 70 years. Most people get, 70 people get 80 years. Maybe a little more. That does come with pain and suffering. But you do get it. And that's it. You know, we don't get an eternity on this earth. We don't get an eternity on this earth. Secondly, if we have fought the good fight, here's another If we have fought the good fight, here's and carried on <coughs> all the way to the end, and have kept our faith. We are assured, assured, assured that there are treasures laid up for us in eternity by God. We're assured that. It's not a question, it's not a gesture, it's an assurity out of God's own words that there are treasures laid up for us. Thirdly, uh, on this one. Thirdly, <laughs> you won't be alone receiving the gift. All of our work in the ministry All of our Jesus will bring a reward in heaven. Um, from our everyday works, from our everyday to work, big jobs that take lots of hours, great, lots devotion, of hours, great devotion, uh, um, physical effort. You know, God um, calls us all so to do different jobs. Not everybody can preach. Not everybody can preach. I probably can't preach. <laughs> I probably can't preach. Not everybody can sing. But Not I end up having to lead songs anyways. Because, uh, because God called me. That's why. Why did he call me? Because he called me. That was my section of the ministry. And I'll fulfill it. I'll be available I'll because it. I'll be available and I answer. Thank you, God, for that. Um, but we all are. We are all called to do different jobs. Physical labor. You know, Bill puts in hours, hours of labor here. And God appreciates it, and His work is going to the treasures. Um, uh, praying. Uh, just praying. praying. Just praying. For church members. For the church for itself. Church members, for the church itself. Just praying. It's part of this ministry. And if there's nothing else, everybody. Can nothing else, we're going to get rewards. We're going to yeah. get rewards. Yeah. Um, um, preaching. You know. Preaching. Uh, so, know many uh, church, so many chores that the so church many, needs. So many chores that the church needs. Help with. And they are oh, all yeah. important. And they are all Every important. Every job you're called for is important. Every job you're called for is important. Everything has a purpose. Everything has and a we purpose. have a choice. And we given have us a choice. creation. Us to either creation. listen to God and either accept it to God, and do it or, or to not. Do it not. I'm sure God always has a backup plan. And God always has a backup plan. It's our choice. And if we do that answer choice. that call, we are in sure guaranteed a reward for that call. that call. Uh, all I do is stand uh, up here and lead songs. All song. I do is stand up here and lead songs. That's it. A lot of times I yeah. mess up here and there. And... But, but it, it's an important job. And I'm not great at it, however it is. I'm not great at it, however it is. I try to, I, I try to, after that, I go there and I, I try to listen that, to the message and I try to apply it to my life. I to see it, my life. I search for God to call me to do something. And uh, 
He's called me to do a few other things. Um, but they're all important. Every single thing. They're all important. Every single thing. Personal life down stuff. Uh, the volunteer hours, the teachers for the school, the volunteers for the food bank, uh, people that come to Men's Fellowship, come in there and just fellowship in there. It, it, it's all important for the, mis for the ministry. Um, ushers. Ushers is another one. Uh, and now prayer sheets on Wednesday night. Uh, they all come together to they make the ministry run, and, and we have to carry on. So and these we are the things that we need, things always need help with. Um, my final um, point is going to be final point. Quick. I had wrote down an actual ending to this in my work Bible, which is in my bag at work, or at home. But... It's a summing but up verse. Uh, my fifth point, point is verse number nine. Do thy diligence Do to thy come diligence shortly unto me. Shortly unto me. It's simple. Simply it's simple. says we all simple. need to answer God quickly, God quickly when he calls. Do your dil diligence Do you dil to diligence come shortly to come you. shortly when he calls you, when he whispers he in you, you, or gives you that feeling like, you know what, I should go talk to that person. I should go ask him how he's doing. I should, you know, somebody should need him. I should get her a tissue. I should, I should come up here and kneel and pray. When he calls you to do something, do it quickly. I have found it's a whole lot easier than to play Jonah. Uh... Because I don't want to end up in the belly of whale. I don't want to end up in the belly of whale. I like chastisement. I like chastisement. It hurts. But that's, uh, but that's, uh, do it quickly. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. And, uh, I did have a little add on to that here. Add on to that here. And I've said it throughout this message and, uh, carry uh, on carry until on. we can't carry on anymore. All the way. You know. Uh, parents have uh, raised their kids until they're gone. Um, a lot of things. But carry on with whatever God calls you to do until he calls you to do something else or until you're over and you're with God. Because he looks forward, he looks forward to us coming home and him saying, good job. Good job. And then we get our, we get our Bema seat and then get our stuff after the fire burns off the hay wind stubble and go into the crystal seat. And then it's Jesus' feet and it's on. So carry on until it's done. And that's the end of my little message. I can't see that clock. So uh, no invitation tonight. It was just a message for us, uh, close-knit family, church. I hope you get something out of it. I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm not a practice preacher. Uh, I'm just a song leader. But I had to carry on, and we uh, we all need to carry on because this church has to keep going forward. So God worked through Pastor. Now we have to pick up pick up the torch and let God work through us all. That's what I wrote in my Bible. Sweet. Thank you, God. He, it's the craziest thing. I'm telling you, uh, I'm no Billy Graham, but. God is God. So if you bow your heads, we'll pray. Father God, thank you so much for your message. Um, help it to, to sink in in our every single day life. To carry on and to carry the torch for Jesus Christ. He was the light and we are carrying it out.
to the entire world. We want to be a light for you, Jesus. Keep us all safe. And again, please be with the Storm family and their bereavement and the church and the bereavement of the passing of our pastor. He was an amazing man. And I know he was a light for you until the end. He's a good inspiration and a good motivation for us to continue. Please give us the strength and the wisdom and the, the courage and the power to do these things for you in your name, Jesus. Amen. You are dismissed. Hmm.